Oh my gosh. How are you all feeling? This is the fifth episode. How, why does it feel like we've been here forever? Today was very dramatic. We had to create a garment from scratch. And so the room was just very crazy because, you know, I mean, not everybody knows how to sew. I was in the bottom. I knew I was going to be there. I felt it in my spirit. It was a design challenge. Y'all know I ain't never been crafty. <laughs> I'm glad she finally won something. Feels good. Feels much better than being in the bottom. Much better. As we as we know, being a, you know on the top is a lot easier than being on the bottom, ladies. Honey, honey. I just did a spit take with pasta. Uh, BB won a challenge in the lip sync. Hey. And performed Diana Ross. Lovely. Although she really thought she was Diana Ross. <laughs> Baby. But I can't be mad at Miss BB. Miss BB. Saved me today. <laughs> Kept me in the competition. It's my sister, honey. We over here at the Game of Thrones, the drag. <laughs> we lost Aja today, and we love Aja. It's very emotional. Like when you're down there and you have to send somebody home, it just feels like you're crushing somebody's dream, you know? And you know how much every single person here wants it so bad. Today was a rough day. Very. Yeah. But. Praise the Lord, we're on to the next. We are down to the top five, baby. Top five is very good. Very good spot. Just need to move up a couple of more, and we good. <laughs> hey everybody, it's me, Miss Jaden Dior Fierce from season seven of RuPaul's Drag Race, and I'm so excited to announce, I will be at RuPaul's Drag Con May 11th, 12th, and 13th at the Los Angeles Convention Center at South Hall. Oh, are you ready? You can also get single tickets or a three-day pass. Make sure you go to RuPaulStragCon.com and get your tickets now. I hope to see you there, girl. All right, work that push. <laughs> sis. Hey, sis. You know it'd be funny if I packed up all of Trixie's stuff and took that instead? <laughs> <laughs> oh God, why do I have so much makeup? I feel like a drag queen. So when I was in the bottom, I was confused. But you know what? Also, the judges have to do their job and you know, it's not easy to judge a whole bunch of Talented girls who are bringing it. Oh, heavy. Can't nobody tell me nothing, because if I want to have fun, I'm going to have fun. Oh my god, I'm going home. Oh, and add some outfits I didn't get to wear. Look at this executive realness. Get, get into this. This is like if the Lorax had to go to a business conference. Bitch, she would be wearing this. My anime pigtails. But bitch, I came to serve the looks. Oh, uh, I won a challenge in this outfit. This is my pastel samurai outfit where I vogue the house down and I, uh, I dipped. That's a death drop for y'all who are not cultured. It feels cool to be the only queen from season nine, to be on All Stars 3. Because let me tell you something, it's not easy to just come off your season to hop right in and be like, bitch, I'm going back to boot camp. Oh my God, my little bang piece. Hold up, y'all can't take me right now, sis. I'm giving y'all artiste fantasy, hey. That, don't ever air that hey, because that was a little much. Honestly, I gained a lot of confidence in the last year. I have updated my wardrobe. I feel like even though I upgraded my drag after Drag Race, when I found that I was coming here, I said, sis, we're about to upgrade it again. So my pussy was definitely leveled up a few times. Like I took a few mushrooms and I was like, dum, 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 dum. and by the time I came here, I was all moist and ready. It's like I gotta collect these hair nuts because I gotta wrap my wigs up. Y'all oh, see my wigs, my babies? So who were you really excited to see when you got here? 
When I was here, uh, I was very excited to look in the mirror and realize that I had actually made it. I know, I'm just kidding. Uh, I was very excited to see Trixie. I was gagged when BB walked through the door, but I was, uh, I was not intimidated nonetheless, even though she sent me home. It's okay, BB. And uh, it was nice to see Morgan. She had big old titties. She was looking like a hoe. It was cute. Oh my God, my little woofy. Oh, I just found my bag. See, bitch, I can't find sh Did my, did my sh always a mess. What's inside this bag? Oh, makeup brushes. Bitch, ain't no money in here? Nope. This is my best friend this whole season, Woofy, because she always had my visine and she always had my meds. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> this is just actually just Mike and I, but, oh, and a pocket, a pocket knife. <laughs> Because why? You never know when you have to cut a bitch. Ladies and gentlemen, if somebody snatches your wig one day, recover. Bitch, I'm about to look like, uh, I'm about to look like Daria's friend. Oh, bitch, I'm about to put on Trixie's rollerblades. Hold on. Oh my God, this is gonna be so fun. Oh, she's my size too! Oh, shit! I haven't ridden rollerblades in a long time. This. Oh my God. Oh bitch, I got the yellow hair on too. Tri I'm, I'm, Trixie needs to wear this exact outfit. I ain't got no, I ain't got no insurance, y'all. I once named Trixie Intelligence Mattel because she told me something smart. Ooh, ooh. Oh. Hold on, this is how you do it. Bitch, I'm a skate model. Y'all can't tell me. I'm done. Thank you, can I have my check, please? You're welcome. <sighs> Bitch, I wanna go shop. I'm moving by myself. Is there a ghost in here? <laughs> Who do you think's gonna win? The whole thing? The person who is gonna win this entire season is my grandma finger wave wig. You know why? Because she was the actual oldest contestant in here. Did you know that uh, my grandmother was cremated and uh, we put her ashes in this wig to style it and form it? And she's here with us right now. Imagine the story was real. <laughs> That'd be a really f***ed up story. I don't know who's gonna win. This competition is crazy because you just never know what can happen. Like, you never know. For all we can know, can kimchi can win. Kimchi, winner of AS3. That's how much we don't know. Or Milk's Tears. I'm kidding. <laughs> wow. Sis, putting these two small nuts on this hair is like trying to put two small condoms on a big penis. It just doesn't make sense. The biggest thing that I've learned since I've been here, it's this quote that I follow every day in my life. I'm Roxy Andrews and I'm here to make it clear. I know you love me, baby. That's why you brought me here. That quote has literally saved my life and motivated me every single day since I walked through those doors. Bye, sis. You going right there. Oh my God, it's empty. All right, y'all, I'm putting on my little collar because now that I'm ready to go, I'm ready to go be a hoe, I'm ready to wash my face and go to bed. And the same way I walked in is the way I'ma walk out on my scooter. So all I gotta say is, bitch, bye. Ah! <laughs> I just hit the wall. <laughs>